Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm here to tell you about that secret I've been holding. So if you've been around for a while, you probably know I'm here to confirm for you <laughs> what that big secret is that I've been harboring. I've been talking about it for a while and not talking about it for even longer, but now I thought I would sit down and tell you guys the official news is that yeah, you're right. I'm making an Evernight film. So if you watch my vlogs towards the end of last year, I was talking about pitching a Nevernight web series to Screen Australia to get funded. I was lucky enough to receive that grant and the go ahead to make a Nevernight web series. Although most of you guys guessed and knew and on the 23rd of December we found out that we were accepted. So we're one of five content creators in Australia that were lucky enough to receive this grant. We weren't allowed to announce it until now, which is why I have kept it a secret. So so yeah, that's that's the plan. This year we will make an Evernight film adaptation. So at the stage that it's currently sitting at is we've spent the last couple months doing pre-production, so kind of figuring out what scenes we're shooting, what we're going to need, who we're going to need. At this stage, hopefully it's looking like it'll be 5 to 10, 5 to 12 minute episodic series of scenes from the book. For those of you who haven't read Nevernight for some ridiculous reason, you will still be able to understand the story. Whereas if you look back at our beginner maximum ride episodes, they were just scenes from the book that were posted randomly with no coherent narrative. Whereas the way we've written the scenes from Nevernight is if you haven't read the books and you're only watching the film, you'll still be able to understand what's going on. And obviously because we have such a limited amount of time, we obviously aren't adapting the entire book, which would be the goal, but we cannot. We've gone through and we've picked kind of like the main plot points and the main story that we want to tell and we have crafted that in a way that, yeah, like I said, um, episode one will link you into episode two, episode two will link you into episode three, so you have an idea of what's going on if for some reason you haven't read the books. But again, that could change, like I said, nothing is set in stone at the moment. We've got a couple workshops with Screen Australia to figure out what we're doing before we get started. But the cool thing about being a content creator on YouTube is that I'm able to take you guys with us. So not only will you get the official series, but you'll also get official behind the scenes vlogs and you'll get my vlogs. We are aiming for a release around the same time as Dark Dawn, which is like to September to October. It's still really surreal. Like we haven't actually celebrated it yet because I mean, you know, for a while there, it's, it's I mean, there's a whole lot of drama that goes on with, you know, getting contracts and legality, which has been a whole other kettle of fish, which I've pretty much just palmed off to Caleb and I was like, deal with this because because I don't understand how. I mean, obviously just the biggest, the biggest thing has just been the support from not only my team, so from Jacob, from Dale, from Caleb and Pat, but also Jay and his people who have been so wonderful and accommodating and bearing with us while we also figure out what the fuck is going on. The fact that Jay has allowed us to do this and has trusted us with this baby is just, there's so, there's so much fucking pressure. Sweet Jesus. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I can't explain to you how grateful I am and terrified but confident and ready. But in saying that, I mean, obviously when people hear this news, some people will be really excited, whether it's to see Nevernight brought to film, whether it's for me personally, and some people are gonna hate it. Some people are gonna hate the fact that Nevernight's coming to film, because I know I'm super picky with my favorite book to film adaptations. I don't want them. Unless they're done right, I don't want them. You know, they might not see things the way we see them, whether it's our cast, our costuming, the way we shoot things. You know, like no matter what you make as a creative, someone's not gonna like it. And that's fine, like that's totally fine, that's normal. But it's as long as you're happy and the people you're creating for are happy. I understand your reservations for the ones that you have. Like I know it's gonna be so hard to make this exactly what everybody is expecting. And that's, I guess, kind of the cool thing about adapting book to film is you can take some liberties, but know that as a, an avid book to film adaptation lover and creator, I'm really particular with what I want to bring to screen and I know having been a fan of book to film adaptations that have gone wrong I know what people uh, respond to I know what people like I know what people don't like and that's not saying I know everything but I think I have I have an idea and the cool thing about having this platform is I can talk to you guys I can make you guys part of the creative process as well even if it's in a little capacity I can still involve you guys in creating something I'm still it's still sinking in I still haven't fully fully wrap my head around and I probably won't until we're like on set or something you'll just cut to a vlog footage of me just sitting there like on the floor just like oh fuck this is this is it <laughs> we're fucking doing this like look at like for the people who have been here since Max ride 
look how far we've come look where how far we're going like just know that the cool thing is about having these weekly vlogs that I'll be having throughout production is that sometimes you'll see me where I'm really excited and I'm like this is great everything's working perfect and then there are gonna be the moments where I'm like this is fucked I can't do it and know that general overarching emotion is I know we can do this and I'm so confident in our abilities and I feel like it's gonna be really good but like any creative I'm laced with self-doubt but I don't want you to see me being negative and think oh the whole thing's fucked because I don't think it's gonna be I think we're gonna be okay and I know that I've got the support of some incredible people some incredibly talented people some people who know their shit around me I'm achieving a life goal right now and it's weird I don't know how I feel about it because how do I now go on with my everyday life knowing I get to play my favorite character in my favorite book on the current official only book to film adaptation there is right now and I know I, I'm I find it really hard to to accept wins because I'm like oh well, what's next like how can I make it better how can I how can I achieve more how, I, I need to let this settle in for a little while and to accept that we worked really hard and we we did it and somebody believed in us enough and it's it's a really weird feeling I <laughs> I'm gonna cry I guess be yeah I want to be that guy right now and put it back to you and be like I am a nobody from Brisbane, Australia, and if I can do it, you can fucking do it. That's it. That's the news. I am making an Evernight film adaptation for you guys, and for myself, and for us. I will be tweeting about it, Instagramming it, YouTubing it, talking about the entire process, so whether you're a filmmaker or a fan, you can see the process behind creating an adaptation, and I'll be able to have you guys giving me your input because I value it so much and we're all part of this. We all did this. I wouldn't be here without you. I sound like a fucking wanker, but enough of this circle jerk. I love you. I cannot thank you enough. To the people who have supported me and to my friends, I can't thank you enough. And so I will leave a link down below for the official Screen Australia announcement and I will now leave you with our promo announcement of Nevernight 2019 on its way.